Hello guys, glad we could all get together for a video on this fine day and what a video it's going to be. This series is quickly becoming one of the most loved on this channel, at least by me. I love that you guys love food so much. Let's all just admit that food is the best and let's tuck into our top 10 discontinued food items we miss part 9. Okay, coming in at the number 10 spot we have Cajun Spice Ruffles. Ruffles are a very popular brand of chips, we might have some big fans of them watching right now. Well back in the late 80s they had Cajun Spice flavour, I was going to tell you guys what they were like, but then I found the original 1987 TV commercial which featured famous Louisiana cooking show host Justin Wilson, and he does a better version than I ever could. Is a new Cajun spice ruffle potato chip. Look at them ridges full of cayenne pepper, onion, garlic, paprika. Who this is Cajun spice. Ain't nothing flat about it. Hmm. Next up at number nine now, we have Minute Fudge. There are a lot of people out there who love fudge. There's also a lot of people out there who don't like waiting five minutes for things. Well, four minute fudge from Kellogg's made those people very happy in the late 70s. The packaging said it had a homemade taste and that it was easy and fun to make. At first, this sold very well. The company was even bought by Kellogg's, but eventually it all got kind of fudged up when customers started complaining it was just a sludgy mess. It sometimes took 20 minutes to make, and one customer even said the best thing about it is the recyclable packaging. Savage. But we miss it. Moving on to number eight, we have Corkers. Full name, Corkers Corn Twists. It first became available in 1968, and these days, twisty shaped chips are common, but these were the real OGs. The advert said the fans of the chip all agreed that the only way to unwind at the end of the day was to get all twisted up in a crunchy box of Corker's corn snacks. I'm sure they tasted great, but if I was feeling stressed after a long day, I don't think a packet of Corker's corn twist is going to fix that, but what do I know? Next up at number 7 now, we have Snick Snacks. Before Kit Kats and class action lawsuits, Snick Snacks were the snappable chocolate bar of the 1970s. They were made by Mars as the competitor to Hershey's Kit Kats, but uh, they were literally the exact same. From the chocolate to the wafers, even the name was pretty much a ripoff. They were fairly popular for a while, but Kit Kats had the last laugh as they're still around and Snick Snacks are in this video. What an awful place to be in this video. Alright, at the number 6 spot now we have Sour Cream and Onion Doritos. Most of us associate sour cream and onion flavoured chips with Pringles, but back in the 70s Doritos were in that game too. It's been a long time since they were discontinued. If you want any proof of how old these are, then look no further than this TV ad for them. I couldn't believe it. Sour Cream and Onion Flavoured Doritos brand tortilla chips. And now I want them. Yeah, I don't care about Pringles. I want mine in a triangle shape. Coming in at number five now, we have Prism Bars. Prism Bars were released in 1986 by Hershey's. They were only around for one single year, but people still remember them fondly as a quintessential 80s chocolate snack. The closest thing you can compare them to today is M&Ms. They were that kind of consistency and flavor, but these things never made it out of the 80s. Even the logo kind of looks like an 80s tracksuit. All right, next up at number four now, we have Buenos Tortilla Chips. From 1981 to 1983, Three, Buenos was what you bought if you wanted to fill your face with tortilla chips. They came in traditional and nacho cheese flavours. I know that having only two flavours might shock some of you guys, but this was the 80s and I don't know what to tell you. Now anyone who has heard any Spanish word in their life will know that bueno means good. But just in case you didn't know that, Nabisco kindly put bueno means good on their packaging. Thanks for that. Good. Bueno. Moving on to number three now, we have Mr. Bone. This spooky candy was around in the 70s and was packaged in tiny little coffins. Inside each one was Mr. Bones the skeleton, made up of tiny candy pieces. Sounds kind of weird when I put it like that. Anyway, the idea was that you were supposed to assemble Mr. Bones, but apparently no single coffin came with all the right bits you needed. So you'd have to buy lots of different coffins if you wanted to complete Mr. Bones. I see what they did there. Clever. All right, moving on to the number two spot now, we have doodads. These things had a very healthy shelf life and were around from the late 60s all the way up to the 90s. They were a box of savory mixed by Nabisco. In Inside, there were five different items, toasted peanuts, pretzels, rice squares, wheat squares, and cheese tidbit crackers. Now some of you guys might be thinking, oh, this is just Chex Mix, but apparently it was a lot better than that. Tidbit crackers even went on to become its own snack by itself, kind of like a guy leaving a boy band and having a really successful solo career. And finally now at number one, we have Reese's Swoops. These were released in the 2000s, and at first glance, yes, they look exactly like Pringles, but they tasted like Reese's 
chocolate. Each container had three individually sealed six packs of swoops and each piece was made of chocolate with a peanut butter squiggle on top. They were quite popular for a while, it was a bit of a novelty to see chocolate in the shape of a chip, but after the initial buzz wore off, swoops were swept off the market in August 2006. There we go, there's another 10 more discontinued food items for you guys to miss. I've been sneaking in some of your suggestions into these lists, I'd love to put more of them in part 10 if you want that, so share your food memories in the comments section below. I'm Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next video.